back, you are still tuned into JC Tech Show. Yeah, joined here by a coach of Orbit, Coach uh, Pohiso from Orbit. Now, we call him a, a champion coach now because he is a champion coach. Coach, welcome to JC Tech Show. Thank you so much. Not a champion coach because we didn't bring the trophy. So if we had to bring the trophy, I'll say I'm a champion coach. Oh, okay. I'll take that one. But uh, for you to participate there, it's, uh, it gave uh, like our change mindset of the young players and even the upcoming coaches. So that's why we have to, have to take that one. Yeah, I think uh, we've been doing this uh, for the past 10 years. Yes. It's a pity we, we couldn't promote the team uh, in 2016, yes. but this time around uh, we had to do something good for the Northwest province and yes. the boys did well, especially if you achieve this using the young boys. Well, uh, now it seems like if you said you have done it for a couple of years, now that it seems like a culture to Obit College, right? So, what's the like the secret behind this? Uh, yeah, like you guys try to participate now and then on that competition. Um, Obit has been playing in the ABC Mozambique for the past uh, eight years. Yeah. So, but uh, our mandate is to develop players. That's why we produce players like Abu Munapule Saleng, Mukate. Sanoka, and uh, last season I think about four of our players were signed by Orlando Pirates, MDC. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. We've been there and we've been passionate about the development of uh, football in the Northwest province. Now you're doing a really good job, coach, for uh, even the institution itself, like supporting you guys, doing the most. Uh, uh, in providing like maybe support structure wise I think maybe it can be like the secret behind because you know if you don't have that kind of uh, support uh, sometimes there you go like you reduce your ability of doing your best I think uh, we like to say thanks to, to the principal of Obi Tibet College and also the who's the, principal? and uh, Dikamukwena, he's the principal of Obi Tibet College so we also, I think the person behind this team is a DPT principal at Musito uh, at Obit College. I mean, they've been supportive, uh, especially for the past 10 years, uh, making sure that we get the necessary support so we can develop these young boys and achieve what we have achieved as a team. Uh, and uh, I mean, the college has been supporting us all along, and uh, we're doing it for the college also. Uh, and also the student of Tibet College and also the Tibet sector around South Africa because uh, when we went to KZN to represent uh, Northwest, we are not only representing Northwest, we are also representing the 52 uh, colleges around the country because it's all about the Tibet sectors. We want to show people that uh, there is talent at Tibet colleges. No, indeed it is a talent. When you talk about the Bosanuka and the likes of Saleng as well, they are like they are stars. They are like from that college. And coach, I really, I wish I can talk you with the long time because now I thought maybe I got my question arranged, but now I'm just so excited to have you. Like you know, it's, it's something big. But let's talk about uh, this tournament here where we are. Uh, this the launch of uh, the Nuko Foundation Games. Uh, your thoughts on it and then what do you think? I think it's a good initiative, especially for the development of uh, football in the Northwest province. Uh, I mean, for the past five years I've been following it and as, uh, we have uh, signed some of the players that were spotted from this tournament. I mean, the reason for me to come here, I support football. I'm the student of the game, so that's why I'm here today. And um, I'd like to say to them, and they must continue with this initiative, uh, because they are also helping us in terms of uh, developing football in the province, which is a good thing. And I think uh, we will indeed uh, see or even sign one, if not two, players from this initiative. No, okay.
Uh, I think, uh, Coach, this tournament, as you said, that uh, it's really indeed a big deal to uh, uh, Northwest, not if it's not Rustenberg, um, a competition that is very valuable to uh, football lovers. So let's talk about the tournament, the way it was arranged. I feel like. I was like almost asked something, you know, it, it, I came here thinking that maybe the, the participating teams are supposed to be 32 now. It, I'm going to find out there's a 10 extra on top, so <laughs> are you used to this or we, we according are, to you? We are used to this. Uh, I mean, uh, in April, uh, I just came back from, uh, we played the final of the Pirates Cup under 21, where we had 44 teams. So. Uh, I'm not surprised uh, the teams have increased from 32 to 42 because I'm used to this. So, and uh, I'd like to say to them, uh, it, it's a good thing. Let's accommodate everyone as we can because we cannot say to other teams that want to come and be part of this good initiative. So I'm not surprised. I'm used to this. Uh, thank you, that, uh, thank you, Coach Poheso, and it's uh, really an honor to honoring our podcast, JC Talk Show. Uh, just happy to talk to you soon. You're welcome. I mean, this is our home, so yes, if you want to yes. come and see us, this is where we train. So we'll be coming back after two weeks because the boys currently are on recess. It's been a long, long two weeks. Yes. But uh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Coach. Uh, that was coach of OBT College, po Coach Poriza. Now, I think we'll be back as soon as we can, just putting others to wrap.